So we have an average of, or actually, let me look. Hold on. Okay, this is a series 12 team, so we're actually gonna, we'll look at that in a second. Remind me to look at like how close I am to getting Twitch partner um, after the battle. And if you're watching the stream highlights, be sure to watch my Twitch streams. They help me out quite a bit. I'm trying to get partnered and I need uh, 75 viewers minimum or 70 viewers minimum uh, average. Uh, so yeah. It looks like um, I absolutely annihilate this team with Garfield if I play my cards right. Uh, but I think what I'll do here is I can lead off Mimikyu. And I, I shouldn't lead Incinera because there is a freaking Milotic on the field. But I'm kind of willing to roll the dice here. I'm, I'm kind of willing to do it. And I'll go Palkia and uh, Garfield as usual. I'm half asleep with Scarf Cinderace is good. I mean, I could see it being good. I, I think that, like, a Scarf special attacking fire type would be better. Um, but Cinderace isn't even, like, a fire type. It's, like, an everything type, so it, it can be whatever it wants to be, you know? Dude, I miss Greninja. I think this could have been a good format for Greninja. Let me fix my capture card. I always have to fix this thing. The contrast is always just a little low. There we go. All right, no Milotic. Awesome. We got the Trick Room off. <laughs> we did it. We got the Trick Room. All right, uh, something I could also do, just to, just to smash with my opponent here, is... No, nah, I think I'm just going to go for the Trick Room. I mean, I should always get off the Trick Room by doing this. I don't believe there's a way they can prevent it unless they have a fast Grim Snarl. They could also reverse it on me, but then I just, like, click Snarl and stuff, and it's, it's all good, you know? Earth Power, that's fine. I'm going to tank that. Like a champ. Like a like a baller. Okay. So I should be able to parting shot. Uh, something to note is that that wasn't life orb. It might be assault vest. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll play rough the the dude. And I'm going to parting shot and get in my my best friend Solgaleo. My close good friend. Does Giratina get, or does Greninja get flying moves? It's a frog, so I'd imagine it gets bounce. Alright. So, to note is, I don't think that my opponent's going to get screens off. Since Mimikyu should be slower than the Dialga. Well, I guess it, it depends if there's zero speed, but I'm more likely to be slower. Alright, let's see how much this play rough does. I connect, and it's gone. <laughs> and it's gone. And I survive, because Mimikyu's broken. Mimikyu's broken. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Let's see if they have priority. Okay, Eveltal? Eveltal, though? Hello? Here's my play. Um, I don't want to get foul played in the late game, so I'm actually going to Will-O-Wisp this thing. And I'm going to go right into Incineroar and start clicking Snarl. Because foul play could be very annoying for me. If I'm at plus two. It also gets acrobatics. Yeah, Greninja does also get acrobatics. That's a big thing. <laughs> I don't know if Mimikyu's broken, but for sure Mimikyu's disguise was busted. <laughs> I hate that. That's that's like a phenomenal pun, right? But I hate that. All right. I should get this burn off. Oh, in the Dynamax. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're gaming. 
I'm going to assume we're just going to take a max darkness. I should be able to parting shot the Sivelta as well, which is just going to be awesome. Yeah, Barrett, I will, I will take some viewer battles tonight. Awesome. So foul play is no longer an issue because I just eat that up. And what's interesting is they didn't go for the dark move. I find that very strange. That just doesn't make sense to me. But the sun's out. My guns are out. Not really. I'm wearing a hoodie. It was kind of chilly today. <laughs> okay. So I should be able to parting shot here. And I'm actually going to get in Palkia for Mimikyu. I don't really see a need to risk anything here. We already managed to take away the Grim Snarl, so I feel pretty good about this. If we can just get their Dynamax to just be gone, that'd be great. Like, we've already burned a turn of Dynamax. We're going to be burning two here. Parting shot into the Veltal. I have to be careful, though. Uh, obviously, there's a Milotic in the field, which could be kind of annoying. And I don't want to get burned on my Solgaleo, so we have to be careful with that. I'll sack the Mimikyu now, and then we'll get in Solgaleo for free next turn and start uh, quaking. And thank you for the follow, Shiny Koopa. Yeah, that's why, that's why I go Mimikyu there, because I don't risk a burn ever. Max Airstream, that's fine. I believe we still have enough turns of Trick Room where we just, like, always win. You know, barring a crit. <laughs> and like I said, foul play is no longer an issue. So I always go Garfield here. Good old Garfield. And I should be able to double into this Milotic to make sure it, like, never gets to do anything. Uh, I'll spatial run this thing, and I think that into a max quake should do the trick. Since it's at plus one speed, it also is always going to be going um, after my Solgaleo under Trick Room. All right. Let's go Garfield. I think this is okay, though, especially if I get a crit on my Palkia. Or with my Palkia. On? Did I just did I just jinx it? Am I gonna get a crit on my Palkia this turn? A protect? That's fine as long as I get the special defense boost. I mean this uh this Eveltal's at minus two, so. Or at minus one. And this basically makes it like he was at minus two. So I'm going to eat this hit up. Doing viewer battles? Yeah, Jordan and I am going to do some viewer battles tonight. That probably is the last turn of Trick Room. There's the Max Flare. I disagree with that play entirely. Max Darkness always does more. And there's the policy. Twist Dimensions return to normal. Um, I can just try to reset the Trick Room. Everything on their side of the field is going to be slower than me, so it's kind of worth my time. I just Max Quake you again. And like I said, this, uh... <laughs> the Seveltals burn, so Foul Play kind of bounces off. After a Steel Spike, obviously. Foul Play still kind of hurts, even though it's burned. If you don't know, uh, here's a fun thing you should always learn about foul play. Uh, foul play is using your opponent's attack stat. So if you get burned and your opponent foul plays you, it still does the same damage because foul play or because burn actually doesn't lower your attack stat. It lowers the power of your moves to half. So that's a, a nice little fun fact for anyone unaware of that. Heat wave. I am sorry, little one. I'm sorry. 
And we got the burn in the Palkia. This thing's not taking that. Yeah, goodbye. Cursed Knowledge, I thought it would get weaker. Yeah, no, so burn has the power of physical moves. That's, that's how to think about it. So you burn the foul play user to lower the damage of foul play on your Pokemon. If you burn your own Pokemon, foul play will still do the same amount of damage. Okay. Uh, it looks like this is AV Veltal, so I'm just going to max steel spike it to win the game. Judging by how much damage it did to me, you know, it probably isn't terribly invested in the special attack. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon Showdown, if it if Pokemon Showdown had it wrong a few generations ago, that would make sense. Like, you know, it's, it's an unofficial simulator, so they're bound to get things wrong occasionally. There's the Protect, called it. Are you hyped for Legends Arceus? Dude, I am so excited for that game. I am so excited. Are you guys down to watch a stream of it? I'm thinking I'm going to upload, like, not highlights, but, like, a cut-up version of the stream to YouTube as, like, a, a Let's Play. And obviously it wouldn't replace regular uploads. It'd be like a double upload. Q, what's up? I'm glad you can make it to the stream. All right. So that should be game. We already got rid of everything not named Milotic. And we get to click Sunsteel Strike. So maybe I can finally get a Sunsteel Strike thumbnail. Because guess what? I still haven't. After like a week and a half of using this team, not once have we seen the Sunsteel Strike animation. Because it's always gone off against a Dynamax, or while I'm Dynamax, I used to Max Steel Spike. There we go. Mud Shot. Fine. I, I've never seen a Milotic use Mud Shot before, but at the very least, I get to use my cool signature move. There we go. Thumbnail. We did it. We got the thumbnail. <laughs> it probably doesn't even KO. Check it out. Back out thumbnail. That's probably one of my favorite moves ever. Spatial Rend. It's such a cool move. It might just be the physicist in me talking, but I think Palkia is probably the coolest legendary. Because it, it manipulates space. <laughs> I think it's pretty decent. It's super linear, right? You literally just like do self-proc weakness policy stuff, but uh, the fact that it doesn't get intimidated is super, super nice. All right. Ooh, Mantine Enthusiast. I think there are a lot of Mantine Enthusiasts in my chat. I definitely see a lot of people talking about it at least. Um, yeah, I mean, Soul does good here. It, like, does, it does really good here. Alright, so I think what I do is... I'm gonna go ahead and go... I can go Soul on lead, really, and there's not too much of a downside of that. I think I do something similar to last game. And it should work out pretty fine. Alright. No, I wouldn't really call Kyogre a Solgaleo counter. It does pretty well versus it. Especially if you're running like a really special defensive set like mine is. Yeah, no, the Intimidate immunity is so big for it. The only thing is, and I was talking to Joe about it the other day, uh, Solgaleo is rough to use on some teams because it's almost always going to be your Dynamax, which makes it pretty easy for your opponent to call that. But that's also the case for like Calyrex. However, Calyrex can also function without Dynamax pretty easily. Okay. So I'm going to make a bold prediction here.
I kind of want to just go for the quake immediately. I don't want to set up the trick room. And I'm going to go into my Mimi. Actually, Palkia is probably safer. Nah, Mimikyu is probably fine. The reason I'm doing this is because I think my opponent wants to reverse the trick room on me. Dialga tends to run trick room, so if they go for that, they're in like a really rough spot. Thunderwave Grim is so disgusting. I hate facing Thunderwave Grim. And it's mainly it isn't even the speed drop, because like, you know, they can also run that with scary face. It's it's the para it's the paralysis that's annoying. Values protect, that's fine. The Sogalio, it's running max speed IVs, despite the fact that. It's a Trick Room Pokemon, and that's because the only relevant Pokemon I want to underspeed in Trick Room is literally just going to be, um... It's literally just going to be uh, Opposing Groudon. It's, it's got no speed investment, and it's brave, but it's literally running, like... It's running max speed IVs, and that's mainly just because I don't think it's worth it to get minimum speed IVs on Solgaleo. I think that the time and effort that's required to do that on Solgaleo specifically can be better spent doing other stuff with your time <laughs> so yeah it's it's minimum speed but ivs on speed are still max because it hits 105 and groudon with no investment is 110 so you still underspeed it yeah for sure we definitely need an item that reduces ivs Ooh, okay. Okay, alright. It looks like I'm going to get my Trick Room off here, which is awesome. As they Hurricane, and they land the Hurricane. Mimikyu, if you dare get confused. Okay, Mimikyu, if you hit yourself, this is the worst luck I could possibly have on this turn. Mimikyu, don't do this. Okay. I was going to say, if I get confused there and hit myself while they land a hurricane in the in the sun, that's 30% on 50% on like, I don't even know, how, I don't even know what percent. <laughs> like 30 again. Alright, um, Mimikyu, I'm going to need you to bust through this real quick. Because getting rid of Rotom is kind of essential. Okay, that's fine. I'm at plus one special defense. So I should eat the hit okay. I just really need this policy. Obviously, it's not going to be a comfortable live, but I'll probably live. Oh, never mind. I'm not living that. So this damage is even more important. All right, awesome, Mimikyu. That's great. I'm probably not surviving this, even though I'm at plus one, because the sun is up. Uh, but this damage is going to be important to KOing this guy. Okay, not quite a KO, but good damage regardless. And if it does survive this turn, if I do survive this turn, I'm not in a bad spot. Oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, this is a Solgaleo. I'm not dying this turn. There's no chance. Okay, uh, I should be able to just go for a Psychic Fangs here. They have no switch-ins. Like, yeah, I guess Dialga counts, but it hardly counts. Uh, let me go for the play rough on the Mantine. Yeah. Dude, Solgaleo is so chunky. He just like tanks hits like a monster when it's Dynamaxed. Let's 
that was helping handed in the sun. Off of overheat, and that's, that's like the only attacking fire move that Rotom gets. And we crit that. That is... <laughs> okay, I'm feeling good about this game. Nah. Easy Bake Oven is no more. We did it. The Easy Bake Oven has perished. How are they landing these hurricanes? I guess it's 50%, but, you know. Uh, do you think that Solgaleo Finny could work? 100%. 100%. The only thing is, typically speaking, when you run Solgaleo, you want Mimikyu for the easy trick room. Uh, and what makes that kind of rough is the fact that by running Mimikyu, you already have a fairy type in the team. So it makes Finny harder to run. Will you be streaming Legends Arceus at all? Yes, 100%. I'll be streaming Legends Arceus. Um, probably won't be on the typical schedule, but I will be streaming it. I can always just Psychic Fangs as Kyogre and like one-shot it. Uh, and Shadow... I guess I play rough, but Shadow Sneak's also fine into the Mantine since it's not touching the ground. I'd rather just not miss an attack on the um, on the Dialga if it comes out. You've avoided the leaks and spoilers. That's awesome. If you manage to avoid the leaks and spoilers for friggin' Pokemon Legends Arceus, especially when it comes to the starters, that's huge. Have I been into big tournaments? Yeah, I've been into a couple. I did the VR tournament uh, that just passed, and I also did the... Um, what was the... I forget the one that I literally just did the previous weekend. Before the VR tournament. Uh, I also qualified for Players Cup 3 and participated in that one, and I got decently far. Uh, as well as Players Cup 2, I qualified and participated in that one. So, I believe I just went here with Earthquake. And... I don't really need to get Palkia in the field. I wish I had Telepathy Palkia. I still haven't done that. My apologies, guys. <laughs> Alright, this will okay, KO. Oh. I also just crit my Mimikyu. Sorry, Mimikyu. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, good game. What was my team for Players Cup 1 or 2? Or 2 or 3, because it was Players Cup 2 and 3. Or was it 3 and 4? No, Players Cup 4 I didn't qualify for. It was 2 and 3 that I participated in. We are no in. longer a thing. Do not ask for it. If anyone asks... How me and Zygarde are doing, we're, we're, we're no longer on speaking terms. My guy gets crit and dies. Who does that? No one else. <laughs> well, like everything else, but you know, when Zygarde does it, it hurts especially. Yeah, stream delay also makes it really hard to interact with chat. All right. Ooh, I have to watch a Red Bull sausage video later. Someone, Ordinary Sausage is a great content creator if you've never heard of him. He made a Red Bull sausage. <laughs> that's that's it. That, that's that's about it. All right. Um, obviously, I have to be kind of careful with our little friend, um, our little friend Milotic there. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll do this. And this is actually relatively safe. Uh, I'll go in Cinderer as well. Anyone else here watch Ordinary Sausage on YouTube? Ordinary Sausage is a great content creator. Alright. Hi, Leah. Yeah, I mean, obviously the Milotic's kind of annoying here on lead because I can't lead off with Incineroar safely. But, you know, I just I, I need to keep Incineroar in the back specifically because it's safety goggles and it helps out versus Amoongus. 
Which this team hates Amoongus. Bro, when are you going to run just Zacian and Kyogre? Two Pokemon teams are always great. I try not to be that good, though. You know, if, if my opponent has four Pokemon and I got two, I can always just pretend like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, it's, it's, it's just because they, they had four Pokemon. You know, not my fault I lost. Okay, are you guys ready to see the most based turn of your life? This could obviously lose me the game, but this is going to be the most based turn of your life if this works. Get ready. He's going to Volt Switch into the Amoongus. Ooh. I really hope. Maybe not. I got it wrong. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully that's... Okay, that is the Rayquaza. Volt switch into the Amoongus. Ooh, you know you want to. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to one-shot you. <laughs> Imagine the Aleki sets screens. Steal a cool turn. I I think Mimikyu might take this just because of the, I'm full HP. It depends on the, uh, on the, um, uh, on the set on the Rayquaza. Amoongus? Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna get psychic fanged! Ooh! <laughs> Max Airstream, come on, eat it. Eat it up. Ah, you're useless. No one does it better than me. Check this out. Boom. Bazinga. Okay, that doesn't even come close to one shotting, but it's progress. It's progress, Spider-Man. <laughs> okay. Now let's say hypothetically. <laughs> let's say hypothetically they protect you. <laughs> what do I lose from that? I want to say they're a special attacking Rayquaza. Actually, no, if they were special, I think I would have eaten that up. So I'm going to Steel Spike. I'm going to Fake Out and I'm going to Steel Spike. And my opponent is going to be content with that. Listen, it doesn't matter that I might lose this game. I already won it. I already won it by asserting dominance on the Amoongus. That's all that matters. And if they don't protect this Amoongus, it's all over. I've already won. <laughs> I keep ooing because Solga Solgaleo is just the boogeyman, guys. Solgaleo is the boogeyman of competitive Pokemon. That did nothing. That did nothing. Ooh. <laughs> I got my policy, too. I want to say that's Earthquake because of how little it did. And Earth Power would have done so much more. So I made the right choice there. And as just like a final point, um, <clears throat> ooh, <laughs> spooky, yeah. Zacian, mm. pathetic. Behold my awesome gamer skill. I don't even need to switch this thing out, do I? I just quake, like, every time. Alright, 
Check this out. Max Quake, go ahead. I'm going to survive it. Boom. Alright, that actually might be a special attacker now that I'm thinking about it. Considering after the Steel Spike it does the same amount of damage, that's probably a special attacker. However, now I just eat every hit, so... Okay. So, I can go Palkia here, right? Um, let me think. So the Ray hasn't taken any life orb damage, I believe, unless I just haven't been paying attention. Yeah, it hasn't. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say the Ray is probably Focus Sash. I'm going to get back in my boy, and I'm going to go for another Max Quake on the Zacian, because that means I live anything the Zacian wants to go for. And if the Regieleki comes in, it just goes down, because the Ray's probably where the Sash is. There it is. Now watch as Sogalio takes a behemoth, or that too, I also. I, mean, I eat that too. All right. And there we go. Critical hit definitely didn't matter there. I also got a special defense boost on my uh, Incinero, which makes it like nigh unkillable for this whole team. I should just be always able to go for like a fake out plus a and a KO, you know. All right. So here's my play. I honestly think from this range, I just tank whatever hit Rayquaza wants to go for. Yeah, it's at minus one special attack, and I'm at plus two special defense. I bet you I take the Earth Power. So I'm gonna set up Trick Room here to be safe. Thoughts on Tailwind on Eveltal? I think that AV Eveltal is typically best, but you usually with Eveltal, you're going to be Dynamaxing it, so I think you just get more value out of just max air streaming a few times, to be honest. Tank it. What'd I tell you? All right. This should be safe now. I go for a Snarl. I go for a Sunsteel Strike on the Rayquaza. And I never find out where the Focus Sash is. Extreme Speed? Tank it. Told you. The Boogeyman of Competitive Pokemon. The Boogie Lion, in fact. The Boogie Lion of Competitive Pokemon. Goodbye. Thunderbolt, and now you have slain the lion. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. All right. So, Galio, I command you to KO my own Incineroar. Listen, there's only one Pokemon that, like, that gets to be left standing at the end of this game. And it's the lion. <laughs> you know, so Galio has crazy longevity. It just doesn't have recovery. If I mean, it does have recovery. It has Morning Sun, but if you run Morning Sun, you're going to have a rough time. 